Green light. <laughs> Welcome to London. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're okay. We are on the M25 <coughs> and specifically approaching Dartford Tunnel. So if you watched uh, the last vlog, you will know that we're on our way to London. Uh, we've got to go to East London, I think it's E16, something like that. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going. Drop off a 40 foot container and by drop off I mean unload, I'm not actually dropping it off. Unload it and then come back to Southampton again. I don't know if you can quite see on the dash cam, but over there there's like a, a massive bridge and that's where we should be coming back later. It is so high up, it's unbelievable. And I know you can't really see me very well at the moment, so I do apologize for that. Abnormal load detected. Where's the abnormal load then? And also this road is closed by the looks of it. The traffic lights are on, which is not great. Ah. We've got to be on the right hand side because um, we're basically nearly 16 feet. Um, and you can only be 15.9 in the left hand side. Now that's awkward because as soon as we get under the tunnel, we got to immediately come off left. So we've got like literally 300, 400 yards maximum to get across two lanes, live lanes, as you can see it moving on the left lot. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a problem. I, I managed to do it last time, no problem at all, but that was when it was a lot busier, so the traffic was moving slower, but now the traffic's moving quite fast. So we're gonna have to wait and see. But yeah, um, Depending on driving time, I don't know whether we will be coming back down to Southampton, getting a load and going straight back to the yard, or coming back down to Southampton, getting a load and delivering it somewhere, and then coming back to the yard. I'm not sure. I swear I just seen something move. Was that a barrier come down? Why are, why are these both lights are now red now, both sides? The signs back there said abnormal load detected. This is not great, is it? I want to get moving. So we woke up this morning at um, four o'clock and um, by quarter past four, we were on the road. We basically got up, put a card in, done the checks and uh, got on the road. So, um, which is good really, because um, I parked a mile away from the M3 thinking, you know, it'd be really quick to get onto the M3. What's that flashing for? That's just done something really weird. My tacky just flashed and the symbol popped up. It's really weird. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, we got up, got up at four o'clock on the motorway, well, started driving for quarter past four and um, the M3 was shut. The slip road I needed to take was shut. So I ended up having to go basically back towards Southampton to get on earlier to then get up. So I, I wasted 20 minutes just, um, just getting onto the motorway, which was a bit annoying. And this is also annoying as well because all the lights are in the red and we're just not moving. So engine off. No point wasting fuel and uh, I'll see you when we start moving again. <laughs> right, we're moving. We're now going through the green lights. I had no idea what that was all about. And it's weird that that beeped as well. So we are now going through Dartford Tunnel. And like I said, on the way back, we will be going over the bridge, I think, anyway. And um, yeah, it's so high up. 
<laughs> five pound. Mind you, it's before six a.m. Does that mean it's free? Oh no. Ah. It's six. It's two minutes past six. Oh my god! I think I know what they just done. They closed the barriers because they waited till six o'clock for these vehicles to go through. If I was five minutes earlier, it would have been free. Is that what they've just done? Little gits. I mean, I ain't got to pay for it, don't bother me. I was literally third one in line and they, they closed the barriers for a couple of minutes and now it's two minutes past six. So now there's a charge. Little gits. Anyway, so as soon as we get out of this tunnel, we got, we got to get over to the left lane ASAP. Uh, and actually, it's not as soon as we get out of the tunnel, because as soon as we get out of the tunnel, that you can't, there's barriers. So it's, it is left quite late, so hopefully we can make it. Hopefully. We're about 34 minutes away from where we need to be, so we, uh, we're gonna start heading towards London now, into London. We're not going massively into London, it's on the outskirts. But uh, we're basically going by Canary Wharf. That is where we're going, Canary Wharf. Which is London. So yes, that's, that's what we are doing. Once again, I do apologize for the lack of videos recently. Um, you may have seen in yesterday's video, I finally managed to rewire the cable going around for my microphone. So that in itself is gonna enable me to record more, which is good. There doesn't seem to be much traffic on the left. Oh, there, are, there is traffic now coming up. So I'm indicating already just to let them know that I do want to get over. Three quarters of a mile we've got to get off. We can't yet because there's a barrier here. Traffic is coming. Half a mile, 800 yards we've got to get off, but we still can't because we're in this lane. Seven hundred yards. Right, we can now budge over. There's a car speeding down on the left. Five hundred yards. We need to come off. It's all clear to go over. Here we go. That's rubbish for for the tall trucks. That's rubbish having to do that. And then here we are. Look, we're coming off here. So now we're going to be getting onto the A13, I believe. I think that's what it's called. Although. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's something else. We will be on the A13 sooner or later. I came here um, once before. Like I said, I know about that because I've come down here and I think I turned left. I think. Not sure though. Can't remember. Police automatic number plate readers operate in Thurrock. That's where we are now by the looks of it, Thurrock. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go because you probably can't see me very well at the moment because it's quite dark out and I'm probably illuminated by the blue behind me. So I will see when we're a little bit closer to where we're gonna be and I'm assuming it's gonna be a bit lighter as well because we'll be in London. So, see you in a bit. So, even at quarter past six in the morning, there's still traffic in London. <laughs> ah. You know, when I left this morning at quarter past four, my ETA was quarter past, uh, quarter past six, and I wasn't booked until seven o'clock. So a part of me, a small part of me was like, yeah, maybe I'm leaving a little bit early. Maybe I could have added like an extra 15 minutes in bed or something. But I'm glad I got up and, I've, and I left because my current ETA is 20 to seven. So I've only got 20 minutes left worth of uh, leeway before I miss my booking in time. So it's not a massive problem if I miss the booking in time. I'll still be there around about seven o'clock, I hope. But there's not a lot I can do. I've, I've left at quarter past four this morning from Basingstoke. I think you would have thought by seven o'clock it'd be uh, in East London, but never mind. We're just sat in traffic on the A13 now. We're only 20 minutes away. So, and it's quarter past six now. So hopefully we, we will be there before seven. But we will see, we will see. I've just realized what lorry I'm behind. I wonder if I'm gonna to get told off. <laughs> I'm on a public road, I can film whatever I want. Stupid company. And as you can see ahead in the skyline, we are 
in central London, <coughs> or at least heading towards central London anyway. We've got two more miles left to do on the A13, which is what we're on now. And then we've got to come off. It's a quite a tedious road. It's like traffic lights in some places, and then the traffic just comes to a standstill. Probably what this is happening up here, look. Uh, loads of vehicles are pushing in, but <laughs> that's, that's normal, isn't it? That's normal for London, anyway. So yeah, we're here, nearly. Three more miles to go and we'll be at our destination. ETA is 20 to seven, so we've lost nearly half an hour just in traffic and the diversion this morning to get onto the motorway. But we're nearly there, nearly there. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class one and two courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Okay, this is where the fun begins. So we're now about to come off the A13 and uh, we sort of got to go left and then come back on ourselves, go that way and then come back on ourselves again. Seems a bit silly, but that's what we've got to do. Yes, I know the speed cameras, there's speed cameras everywhere. We're in London. <laughs> right, so we need to come off here. So we indicate, check for cyclists. I, I thought I went down the wrong way then, not gonna lie. Through boots. Traffic calming area. Before I hit something then, that's just the trailer making a noise. Ugh. Now we've got some speed bumps. Yeah, I turned left there and I saw the height sign. I thought, oh no. But yeah, this looks like it's the way I've got to go. That's the way the sat now's taken me anyway, and I have got a height indication on this sat now, so it should avoid taking me to low bridges. But we're basically 16 feet, so we cannot go under any bridge lower than 16 feet. We've got to make a right turn up here. Oh, you fix traffic lights, yeah. Stupid bumps. So make a right turn. I am going to take up both lanes just to indicate the facts that I'm going to be in the lane two. Well, well, my trailer will be going down there anyway. So hopefully no one comes up on the inside. I think the whole point of doing this is so that now we're going under the A13, which is what we were on that bridge there, which is why we had to come off and then sort of go up and then we've got to turn left and come back on ourselves again, because there's a train station there. We've got to go over the train track. Which don't look massive. It looks like it's quite a, um, a relatively tight space to get a trail around, but we'll uh, cross that bridge literally when we get there in a mile. We're nearly there now. It's only, we're only literally a mile away from where we need to be. So what train station is that then? Canning Town is where I am near on the sat nav. Canning Town. Green light. <laughs> Welcome to London. That bus driver blatantly just went through a red light. Right, we want to go straight over. Left lane can go straight over. That's good. Green lights. That's good. Yeah, Canning Town. So it must be Canning Town Station or something. We've got 2 hours 16 on the clock, so we've been driving for 2 hours and 16 minutes, obviously. 
Uh, and then when I get here, park up on the bay, I'll have a 45 minute break. Because you're on, you're on the bay for sometimes up to three hours. So you're literally just on a break. I can literally leave the cab and go for a walk around London if I wanted to. Lock the cab up, go for a walk. It's a low bridge coming up. Up, there's a low bridge, 13 feet. I'm 16, where's this low bridge? We are not gonna go under this low bridge. Turn down there if I need to. When I looked at the map yesterday, I did not see a low bridge. It must be down there somewhere. Oh, this road is bumpy. So yeah, the train track's to the left of us, <coughs> and uh, we've got to go over it in a sec. We can fit under that, that walkway. Still haven't seen this low bridge yet. See the L London Eye over there. Another train station, Star Lane. London likes its stations, doesn't it? Oh, green light, that was quick, that was quick. So what we gotta do is turn left just up here and then go across this train track. But it looks relatively tight, it doesn't look like I've got a lot of room. Thirteen feet bridge, eight hundred and fifty yards ahead, so I couldn't go straight on if I wanted to. There's a bridge down there, so I better turn left, don't I? All clear. Got to be on the other side of the road to get round here, so I've got to go slowly. Here we go. So we're looking for electric electrica park or something. Yeah, Electrica Park, which I believe at the roundabout turn right, and then it should be on the left. That's fine, you just pull out, bud. You just pull out. You're not waiting to cross right now. What's this van driver doing? He's blocking up the roundabout. Here we go. So electric park is here. So I'm not gonna film on the inside, so I'll see you soon. Right, we are on our way out now of where we just got tipped. Don't want to be meeting another lorry coming around here. It's a bit tight. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah, so we got here at a quarter to seven. And it's now quarter to eight, so we've only been here for an hour, so that's good. Very good. We need to get back over again because that van is sticking out. Excellent. Oh, the barriers are down, are they going to let me out? Go on then, open the barriers. Excellent. We're off, we're now heading back towards Southampton. <coughs> um, okay, hold on. 
hold on, hold on. I'll just check the sat nav because it's taking me a different way out. taking me a different way out and I don't want to go a different way just in case. I want to go back onto the A13. It's telling me to turn right and I come from the left. So I just want to go back on, on the A13 again so I know I can get out because I got in. If that makes sense. Okay, it's still telling me to go right and then take a left. So I try that. We'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen, eh? Hit a bridge, hit another car, or a bus. <laughs> but I'd like to go the same way out as I come in, just, just for peace of mind. So it should be right. Long, as soon as I get onto the A13, I'll be, I feel safe. But these are some London back roads right now we're going on. ETA back to Southampton is currently half past ten, but of course that could change if I get held up in traffic anywhere on the A13, M25, M3 could get held up anywhere so although going ETA is half past 10 I'm not taking the word for that I'll wait until I'm actually on the M3 before I tell them when I'm going to be back <coughs> so where that van's turning left up there that's where we got to go by the looks of it I believe I can't see anything saying that I can't no width or height restrictions or length. Just to give way line, buses indicating, all clear. Right, M25, A13, straight on. That's where we want to go. Oh, my beacons are still on, let's turn them off. Yes, we want to head straight down there onto the A13. Um, and then we can get out of London. I don't know what I'm doing next. <clears throat> I don't know if I've said yet. It all depends on driving time. I, I need to stop and do a printout before I tell them when I'm going to get there so I can tell them how much driving time I got left estimate. Because they might well give me an Evesham to do today and then go back to the yard. But I can only do that if I've got enough drive time. So I need to work out if I do in fact have enough drive time. I've got a right turn coming up. I will be following road signs, not the sat nav. Just want to find the M25, please. <coughs> um, what does that sign say? That sign says A13 turn right, so that's where I will be going. Not down there, though, in the next one. And the road sign, uh, the road mark in say A13 as well, so we shall stay in the right-hand side lane, we shall indicate right. I wouldn't mind living in London, but I wouldn't drive if I lived in London. I'd probably be a lot thinner. I'd be a good way to lose weight, move to London, get, get the bus and walk everywhere. Hmm.